And is it level? Uh-huh. Got right smack dab in the middle. It's pointed down at you. I mean, the, the camera. Hey there, my name's Pat Rothfuss. And a while back, uh, the McElroys asked me if I wanted to write an intro to their comic that was coming out. Actually, that is a lie. That is super untrue. My name is Patrick Rothfuss, and when I found out that the McElroys were doing a comic version of the Adventure Zone, I said, who do I have to fuck to write an intro to this because I love your stuff? That's actually a lie as well. Welcome to graphic novel theater. Processes that I honestly can't remember at this point. I have written an introduction to the graphic novel adaptation of the award-winning and internationally re renowned... Fuck, this is going to take forever. Mm -hmm. I should have really had a big coffee before this. How's my hair, by the way? Hi. Hello. Hello. Hey there, everybody. My name's Pat Rothfuss, and uh, through a series of fabulous adventures and lost bar bets, I wrote the introduction to the graphic novel adaptation of The Adventure Zone, which is a D&D podcast that I love dearly. The McElroys have asked me if I would like to read that introduction to you here now on this video today. That's about as prefatory, I think, as anything can be. So now I'm going to do that thing that I just said that I'm going to do. <laughs> when it comes to the Adventure Zone and the McElroys as a whole, I'll admit that I've been late to the game. My friends have adored them for years, but I'm stubborn. So it wasn't until November of 2016 that I finally caved to peer pressure and began sampling their unique flavor of artisanal auditory delectation. I listened to an episode of My Brother, My Brother and Me, and the McElroys hit my life like a new religion. Within two months, I'd listened to more than 250 episodes of Mabim Bam, and I would have made it through the entirety of their archive shortly thereafter, but that was when I had... had but that was when I discovered the Adventure Zone. If learning about Mabim Bam was like a religious conversion, the Adventure Zone was like suddenly falling in love, plus getting hit by lightning, plus coffee, plus hugging Lin-Manuel Miranda while eating an ice cream sundae. Okay, I'm not doing a good job of this. Let, let's start again. For those of you who may not know, I'm a fantasy author. My books have been translated into 35 different languages and sell millions of copies all over the world. I mention this not to brag, but because it's the easiest way to prove that I know a little bit about stories. I story for a living. I'm pretty good at it. So let me say, honestly and sincerely, that The Adventure Zone is some of the finest storytelling I have ever experienced in any genre, ever. I also know a little bit about role-playing. I've played D&D my whole life, since 1982. I worked my way through every edition, except fourth. And these days, I play D&D in packed stadiums with Acquisitions Incorporated. I guest star in Critical Role. I vis I've visited the D&D offices. And we're currently working on some secrety collaborations that I cannot mention because of NDAs. With that in mind, I'd like to say that the McElroys have done something with D&D that I've never seen before. They've done something I didn't know it was possible to do. They've made something magical and loving and kind and beautiful. And the world is better because this story is in it. I've listened to the entirety of The Adventure Zone more than three times over the last eight months. I'm not just a fan, I'm a missionary. I'm a zealot. I'm not saying I'm working on my moral cosplay or anything, but yeah, fine, I'll admit it. I'm working on my moral cosplay. What you hold in your hands, if right now you are holding the graphic novel, okay, caveat there, is a unique experiment. A brave, even remarkable thing. This comic is an attempt to translate pure audio improvisational storytelling into a visual medium. I've done some work in comics, and I can't think of a harder transition for a story to make. And I adore what the McElroys and their brilliant collaborator, co-adapter, and artist Carrie Peach have done here. Not just in the reflected light of my admiration for the Adventure Zone podcast, 
but as an entity distinct unto itself. I already know the story, but there are surprises here. I know what's going to happen, but I love seeing these good, good boys beginning their marvelous adventure all over again.